Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full-length featured review, we'll be going over the new MSI GS66 Stealth. This is going to be a re-release of the same model as before, but now with the fully upgraded GPU, the brand new NVIDIA RTX 3070. So let's go ahead and kick things off with our standard unboxing so you can see what you're going to receive if you decide to order one of these for yourself. So as you can see, it's a fairly small box. It is double boxed for protection. So we have the outside cardboard box, which is gonna prevent any damage to the inside box. And that inside box is protected by huge foam wedges and the plastic wrap. So everything is well protected during shipping. And the internal box, true to the name of Stealth, is not very flashy. It's just a flat black box. And that's kind of the target for this laptop. It's a thin, light gaming laptop, but it doesn't have the flashy appearances of some of the more traditional gaming laptops. So once you get your inside box open, you're gonna see the laptop is further protected by even more plastic on it. So everything is really well kept during shipping. And here's the first look at the GS66 itself. Normally we like to have a size and weight benchmark for you right after the unboxing, but this time we're going to go ahead and skip that since it hasn't changed since the last model. So if you'd like to find that information, just look down below in the video description and we'll have a link to the old video. Now, once we get the main box out, we just have a secondary box, which is going to have, of course, our power adapter. So the power adapter is in two pieces. We have the main brick itself, which you can see is a pretty decent size and it has a single plug to go into the laptop, very traditional style. The secondary cord is going to be different depending on your region so that it plugs into your local power outlet. Here's a close-up of that power adapter so you can see exactly what our current wattage is. And this particular power adapter comes in at 230 watts of power. So here we are with the GS66 Stealth powered up and we can take a first look. You can see it's a nice flat black, not too flashy. If you prefer the flashy look, the brother to this would be the GE Raider and that would be the one you wanna look at and we do have a review for that coming soon. It's a backlit keyboard, chiclet style with the embedded arrow keys. Touchpad here has the left and right clicks integrated and it's a very large oversized touchpad. And while this makes a great business class laptop because of how it looks, it's definitely targeted for gamers because of that 300 hertz screen. So let's take a look at our interfaces for connectivity. Over on the right hand side, we have a 3.5 millimeter combo jack that'll work for headphones, microphones, or headsets, a USB type C port and two USB type A ports, and then the RJ45 connection for your local network connectivity. Now the rear of the Stealth doesn't have any connectivity, just the ventilation holes. And then over on the left hand side, this is where you're gonna find your DC power port for charging and running off of mains power, a Thunderbolt 3 port with power delivery, HDMI output, and a final USB 3 type A port. As we previously mentioned, this is a 300 Hertz gaming display. And it even says that right there on the sticker badge in the bottom left. Keep in mind that even though this is a very thin bezel laptop, it does have the integrated HD webcam and microphone just above the top of the screen. So here's one final look at the full system before we start moving into some of our benchmarks. So let's take a look at our system baselines. Here's the device manager and we can see a list of our hardware. The big upgrade in this particular release is gonna be the NVIDIA RTX 3070. We still have our high-end Core i7 CPU, killer for some of our networking, the new Wi-Fi 6 from Intel. So we have a pretty well-rounded system as far as hardware specs. Here's the panel ID if you're gonna look that up. And again, if we go look at the refresh rate for this, it's a 300 Hertz refresh rate.
And before we start any kind of benchmarking, let's get our baseline temperatures. Right now you can see about 70 degrees Celsius is the highest temperature we're reaching on our CPU. And right now, currently the GPU is about 48 degrees Celsius. So we'll come back and revisit those maximum temperatures after we put the system under load. And then we have GPU-Z open as well, so we can pull that over and show you the specs on the RTX 3070. And one of our next baselines to collect is going to be the ambient noise. So here's our noise levels right now with the system at an idle state. And we'll come back and check these when we're under load as well. And our infrared thermometer, you can see the outside temperatures of this case. The heat very concentrated towards the center keyboard, which is a ventilation spot, and the back exhaust. So we've now kicked off 3D Mark Fire Strike, and we'll go back and check out some of those ambient noise levels. You can see the exhaust has definitely spooled up some to keep the system cool. The noise levels have come up appropriately. Overall, it's still a fairly quiet system, and the best way to really read these numbers is to check out other reviews and just compare it to similar systems. And revisiting our infrared thermometer here, you can see Temperatures are really stable here. They haven't really gone up too much. And you can see here clearly one side of the system is definitely removing more heat than the other. And that shows you the difference between the CPU and the GPU and the amount of cooling required. So our benchmark is completed, 3D Mark Fire Strike, 17,352 points. Of course, you can look that up versus our other systems. Our temperatures, we're checking in here. Now you can see the CPU did get a little bit warm. We're in the mid 90 degrees Celsius on the maximum load. And then down below as we get to the GPU, it fared a, a quite a bit better. So a 67 degrees Celsius max on the GPU, that keeps that in a fairly nice and comfortable temperature zone. So moving into our next benchmark, Cinebench R15, we'll let that run through. This will be mostly a CPU test for us. So checking in, our score was 130 frames per second for OpenGL and the CPU 1,231. And with our benchmarking complete, we're gonna move right into the last section of our review, which is gonna be a disassembly of the system so you can see what's underneath of the cover. For this model, there's quite a few screws to remove on the outside perimeter. It's not a quick release or anything, but nothing too complicated. And then that entire back panel will come off. So 
So what you'll be greeted with is a huge battery that takes up a majority of the space here. This is a 6,250 milliamp hour battery. And we have a robust three fan cooling solution to take care of the CPU and GPU cooling. And then kind of pepper it throughout, we're gonna have different access cards such as our wireless from Intel, and of course our SSDs and our RAM slots. So the next level of teardown, we took out the SSD, the RAM, the battery, and we removed the entire cooling solution. So again, this is a nice big three fan, but very low profile cooling solution. It does a good job keeping the quiet when it comes to the cooling, but we did see our CPU temperatures get a little bit toasty. Lots of thermal paste and thermal pads here. And then here's a look at the CPU and the GPU underneath of the cooling solution. So with the disassembly complete, we're actually gonna be finishing off our review and we hope that everyone was able to enjoy this video. If you had any questions, hopefully they were answered in the content that we provided. And if not, feel free to ask those questions down below in the comment section and we'll answer those questions for you and everybody else. So if you're interested in the MSI GS66 Stealth and you'd like to learn a little bit more, go check out the video description and there we'll have the product page link. That'll have the current pricing and availability and the full system specs. And if you need any additional help on top of that, feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. And of course, we can always give you one-on-one -on -one help as well. So with all of that said, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. And once again, we just want to remind you this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.